back to my channel. Today I'm going to get lip fillers. I'm going to see Julie Robbins at Bella Botox. This is my fifth time getting lip filler um, over the last year and a half maybe. Um, I got two syringes but I'm not sure if I want to do one or one and a half. We'll have to see what she says when we get there um, and I'll see you when we get there. Hey guys we're in the car. We're downtown. We're almost there. This is my first time ever doing anything like this, kind of like a vlog, um, and Brandon is going to be recording it for me. Normally, um, you know, I sit at my desk and I've got my little at the light, light holder. Turn right onto East Oak Street. Yeah. So, um, I've never done anything like this before, so uh, we'll see how it goes. So, alright, so we're with our gorgeous client today, and she wants you have more volume in your lips. You were kind of telling me the shape that you wanted? Yes. Okay. Let's go over that again. Like, um, I want more volume on the sides mm -hmm. and for my cubic bow to be, like, rounded. Instead of just kind of more pointy. Yes. Okay. So we're going to use Wrestling Kiss today. It's got a lot of volume. It's more of a pillowy look. Um, you can see the different sizes versus one mil yeah. uh, Versa versus one mil of Kiss. It's got, it's got a lot of volume in there, and uh, it lasts. It's crazy, year. the difference, like how you can see it. I know, I'm like, all right, we'll find somewhere to put it. <laughs> so, how about your filtrum columns? Have you ever put any filler in there? Um, no, I did okay. get Botox right there. Okay, like but, for a um, lip. The first time I got the Botox directly in mm -hmm. my, but um, the second time, my lips are, this is like kind of, lower than this side mm -hmm. and when I do my lipstick it's like super noticeable um, especially with the lip liner on it so the second time she actually was the third time she did um, a little Botox more on the side over here and on this side yeah so it kind of just more relaxes it yeah. right so go ahead and pucker so these muscles here just kind of relaxes them and almost just opens it just a little bit yeah it could be if you sleep on this side of your face um I normally sleep on this side, but sometimes I'll switch. Okay. So if you look in the mirror, sometimes, because uh, it could come from volume on top, missing and it changes your lip shape it a little does. bit. Yeah. But everybody has a little asymmetry, so. Oh, it drives me nuts. All right. So let's numb you up. I just wanted you guys to see before numbing, because the numbing cream actually will swell you. You want to get alone, closer, babe? So. Yeah, I've heard that some. Your lips look gorgeous, though. Thank you. So I've heard some places won't use the numbing cream. I could not imagine getting it without the numbing cream. Mm -hmm.
gon' always be something that you scared of. But you can be brave. I'm a brave heart. Hit the interstate with the race cars. I'm your fantasy. Don't fall in love with me. I break hearts. But I wanted to show you what my lips look like now that it's been a couple days and the swelling has gone down. I meant to take a video of them when I got home from getting them done. But I totally forgot about it until right after I had got done washing my makeup off. So I figured I would just wait so that you could see the real results. Um, when I first got home a couple hours later, they were so swollen, I could barely even talk. <laughs> they were so swollen. Um, but it's gone down a lot, so you can kind of see the final look. Um, I used Restylane Kiss. It is a brand new filler, and it is in incredible I mean it is by far the best filler that I have ever gotten not only can you see the difference visually just holding you know a syringe of the regular filler versus a syringe of this next to each other the second she put it in my lips I could see a difference it has so much more volume it's a much larger molecule it's much more pillowy I mean this is the fifth time I have gotten my lips done and I have never seen results like this especially instantly um, and like I said, Julie Robbins at Bella Botox did them. Um, she was fabulous. She was so nice. She was so professional. She only stuck me a couple times. I thought she was going to have to do it over and over and over again. Um, I mean, it literally, she told my boyfriend, she said, it'll take 10 minutes for me to do this. And it literally took her exactly 11 minutes to inject my lips. Um, she was so nice. The last time I got them done, it was a lot more painful than it was the first time. Um, so she left the numbing cream on me for like an hour and um, reapplied it just to make sure that I was comfortable. Um, I mean, I really can't say enough good things about her and about the job that she did on my lips. I will never go anywhere else. I will never use another filler. Um, and it is a little bit more expensive than the other fillers, you know, like Juvederm. Um, it's $500 per syringe, but you will not need to use as much of it at once. Um, normally, I get two syringes and I get one and a half injected and I save half. But this time I only got one and they are bigger than they have ever been even getting one and a half of the other kind of filler. So, um, and it is supposed to last up to a year. The other filler I've gotten hasn't lasted very long. Within a month or two, I'm like, gosh, you know, they don't look very good. They already feel so small again. Um, but this filler is supposed to last a lot longer. So make sure you get on that. She has deals going all the time. Um, she also gave me um, these Wallave products. This is their Rose um, Rose Oil, and this is their um, Eye Gel Cream, um, or it's really Eye Gel Serum. Um, this stuff is amazing. Um, my skin already looks so good. I feel like I can already tell a difference. Um, I actually put it on before I put my makeup on, and I swear to God, I feel like even my eyeshadow everything just went on so much better it blended so much easier it didn't take me as long to do my makeup as it normally does um you can put this on your face you can put it on your body on your hair even on your nails on your cuticles if you wanted um and this eye cream you can also put all over your face if you want it's like a watery consistency so it's not going to be anything super thick and oily um it goes on great and it feels so refreshing um, I just want to say thank you so much to Julie. Um, you did such a great job. It was so nice getting to come and see you and just saying, I believe in you. So I want to work with you. Um, that really means a lot to me. So, um, these are the final results and I can't wait to show you guys next time when I go back. This is the final result. I hope you guys like this video. If you're considering getting lip fillers, 
I totally recommend it. It is the best thing I have ever done for myself. Um, my lips are super crooked. This side of my lip is always a little bit lower. My lipstick doesn't go on as even. It is super noticeable when I have my lipstick on. And being a makeup artist, you know, that's something that I'm super, super self-conscious about. I don't want people to think, well, how are you gonna be a makeup artist if you can't even put your lipstick on even? So um, getting that taken care of is something that really meant a lot to me and um, you will not regret it. I hope you all like this video. I'll see you all next week.